So you're working from home, you're feeling anxious, you're isolated, you've eaten all of your quarantine snacks and your dog doesn't know any new jokes. Well, you're not alone. Forbes Science contributor Valerie Stimak is here to chat with the ultimate expert in social isolation, former NASA astronaut and International Space Station commander Leroy Chow. He spent over 229 days in very close quarters, miles away from the nearest beach, bar, or store. And he's here to offer you some tips and tricks on surviving social isolation as we flatten the curve. I've been experienced in this kind of partial isolation, especially the social isolation part of being aboard a space station for six and a half months. And so I've kind of thought about some of the perspectives and parallels between uh, long duration space flight and, and what much of the world is now experiencing uh, with this coronavirus pandemic. Tell us a little bit about the time you spent, how much time you spent in space, what some of your activities were. So over my 15 year NASA career, I was in space for just a little over 229 days over my four missions. Of course, the longest flight was 193 days. That was the space shuttle, uh, space station mission. The space shuttle missions were typically seven to 14 days in duration, so much shorter. I'd love if you could share some tips with us that you have from your own experience about how you deal with any of the isolation that you experienced, maybe if you have a personal story sure, about Sure, absolutely, right. So from my long duration flights, I've given this some thought, you know, what we're experiencing here on Earth during this pandemic with people, you know, kind of isolated in their homes. And number one, I think, is that you see the bigger picture. You keep your perspective and set realistic expectations. Um, I know it's difficult with the uncertainty. We don't know how long we're gonna have to be kind of partially isolated, things like that. You know, what resources do you have and how long you might be in this situation? And like I said, there's a lot of uncertainty about that, but that helps you prepare mentally. Number two is operations. Make sure that your surroundings, everything is working as much as possible uh, within reason. In, in our example of space flight, of course, we are concerned about our vehicle, in my case, the International Space Station, making sure things were tidy and organized, making sure things were fixed and operational. So in your own home, make sure that as much as possible, things are in a state of good repair and you're making your surroundings as comfortable as possible. Uh, number three is take stock of your supplies. Fortunately, stores are open. You can go buy things. Please try to avoid the urge to go and panic buy because you're gonna create, help create artificial shortages that hurt everyone. In my case, aboard the International Space Station, during the first few months of our mission, we experienced a food shortage. And uh, so we had to ration food for about four weeks. Uh, we each lost probably around five or maybe a few more pounds than that. Uh, and we had to, you know, but we had our expectations set because we knew that the resupply ship was going to be bringing up more supplies. And coincidentally, it did arrive on Christmas Day. Keep your channels of communication open. Aboard space shuttles, we still had the email. We could send email back and forth. Uh, VOIP phone was really a nice thing to be able to actually call your family and your friends and have short conversations while the antenna was, was pointed at the satellite. You also, you want to keep your spirits up. Number five is, you know, do things to help each other. I mentioned the food shortage we had aboard ISS, and during that time, uh, my Russian crewmate and I, we would joke with each other and joke about how full we were and you know, try to make each other laugh. Uh, to make light of it, we dealt with it with humor. And so that's what we need to do in this time too. You know, you help each other, you try to keep each other's spirits up, whether it's your business, space mission, or, or your neighbors, you know, let's, let's all, uh, help each other, you know, share supplies if someone's low, things like that, and, and we'll get through this, you know, we always do.